Hey y'all, it's your numerical lion, it's Dan, and um, sorry about my audio issues the last maybe couple videos. Hopefully I've corrected it on this video. Um, something that I wanted to talk about but forgot about it um, is this story about Joe Biden um, shaming the Texas Rangers. And so the Texas Rangers were, I think, the only team in the major leagues to have um, maximum capacity for, on opening day. And um, so I thought that was interesting. And it also links to when Biden received his first dose of COVID-19 vaccine on live television. So he received it. Notice he received it at 5.06. <laughs> On December 21st, a day with 33 numerology, 506, right? 56, that coronavirus number that we've been, if you spell it right, there's no P in coronavirus. So we've been seeing this number all year long, like mind control, right? So live television, let's go to the, the article here. So this was, if I could speak, this was back when he was president-elect. So he received his first dose of the Pfizer and BioNTech coronavirus vaccine on live television Monday afternoon and reassured Americans of the vaccine's safety. <laughs> it's so funny. Let's go on TV and reassure people of its safety. TV, where they got lights and cameras and they could edit it if they want to. You don't even know if it's live. Like, <laughs> what? The shot, which Biden received in his left arm, left-hand path, right? Left arm. Let's look at left arm. Because why is left arm? Look at left arm. Okay, we got the 30-42 thing going on. Biden was born in 42, right? And, you know, these numbers of Saturn here, 30 and 42, So, the shot which Biden received in his left arm was administered at Christiana Cares, Christiana Hospital. It's a mouthful. Look at all these C's. Three C's. Christiana Care. That's that um, death, rebirth, resurrection. Three, 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 three. Hospital in Newark, Delaware by Tabe Mace. And I'll get into her later. Who is a nurse practitioner and head of the employee health services at the hospital. So he says, we owe these folks an awful lot. <laughs> Don't you love when politicians say folks? So then he said, the Trump administration deserves some credit for Operation Warm Speed. What is some credit? I don't know if I ever looked that up. Some, he deserves some credit. What do you mean? They rolled out the whole thing, didn't they? Some credit. In the uh, Sumerian cipher, this is 666. This is a propaganda hoax number. All right, propaganda hoax. Hoax 48 and 60. And Operation Warp Speed. Operation, you could take apart all this stuff. And see what they're really saying. So that might have something to do with the Pope, currently the 266th Pope. Coronavirus pandemic 220, I, I believe. Coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, look, same numbers as Operation Warp Speed. Both 220 and 94. 94 is 47 plus 47. Just so you know that. So that was back in December. And look at the gematria of the hospital. 152 and his name 152. That's why he got it there. The hospital on a day with... 33 numerology, right? Vaccinate. 
33. I want to get you to vaccinate. I think there was a story about Elvis receiving a vaccination live on television. It's trying to get everybody to vaccinate, right? Got it in Delaware, another 33. So look at, he got the Pfizer and BioNTech coronavirus vaccine. This was what was in blue, I think, in the article, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So I just took the blue and I put it in the calculator and this is what I got. Um, where did I get it? Oh, here we go. 606 or 66, right? Mark of the B, 66. And then the nurse who gave it to both the Bidens, they insisted on her, or Tabe Mace. May 38, like, you know, that number. And then COVID-19 vaccine, 66. So how appropriate that she should give it. <laughs> right? And then vaccine and Tabe Mace. I'm probably not pronouncing her name correctly, but there you go. Let's look at Mr. Biden, the 46th president, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., the 46th. He was the 47th vice president, right? 78 years old, but he acts like he's like 97 or something. This happened 31 days from his birthday. He gets a vaccine. Vaccines equals 31. He did it on a day with 37 numerology. Joe Biden, 37. Virus, 37. So let's get... To the present day, President Joe Biden calls no limit on fans for opening game at Texas Rangers ballpark not responsible. Right? Trump Trump wouldn't say a word, but Joe Biden's the mask president. He's ultra paranoid. So he says not responsible. 66. Weren't we just talking about that number? 66, COVID-19 vaccine. 66. Right? The thing in blue, the person who administered it. Not responsible. And this was in Texas, also 66. So here he says, speaking the night before Major League ballparks reopen throughout the country, stressed the importance of wearing masks, even though <laughs> masks don't do anything and continue to abide by health and safety protocols to prevent the spread of COVID-19, calling it a mistake, I'll get into that, for the Texas Rangers to open their stadium at full capacity for opening day. So he was on Sports Center. The Rangers Globe Light Field. You can see 40,300 people, or 43, right? Is 403 a uh, prime number? I'm not sure, but let's check. Nope. But 403, you know, this number of Masonic, 100% crowd capacity. Well, that's a decision they made. I think it's a mistake, Biden said. They should listen to Dr. Anthony Fauci, the scientists and the experts. But I think it's not responsible. This guy... Dr. Anthony Fauci, the poster boy, right? The household name. He's super famous now. Not many people had heard of him before this. The scientists and the experts. That's what he says he's following. Right? So anyway, this happened on April Fool's Day. The story came out. Notice April is 56, like coronavirus. April Fool's Day, 153, and his full name, 351, the reflection of April Fool's. Oh, I went back way too far. All right, so his full name, and April Fool's Day, he's definitely a fool. So from his birthday to this story is 132 days, fan libit. 132, that's what he's talking about. Vaccine, 132. A mistake, 137, we all know that number. Of course, the 33rd prime. And it happened 101 days 
after he got the shot, Biden equals 101. All right, look at Biden in a mistake. Biden, a truly a mistake, right? Biden 25, a mistake 25. Biden is a mistake. <laughs> it's also 34, just like Biden. He's, he's a mistake two times over. So this happened on a day with 46 numerology, the 46th president, right? Joe Biden, 64, reflection of 46, virus 46, a mistake 56. Opening day, 56, it's a mistake on opening day, coronavirus, mind control, toilet paper, society of Jesus. So here's his quote. Well, that's a decision they made. I think it's a mistake. They should listen to Dr. Fauci. I took out Anthony because they put in Anthony. I think it's not responsible. That equals 704 or 74, Texas Rangers 74. <laughs> All right. Gematria 74, Jesus 74, Texas Rangers also 52, and they're messing with the president, right? And there's this border crisis happening in Texas, and a team from Texas is in the championship game, Baylor, and they played a team from Texas. There are two teams from Texas in the Final Four. You know, what are the odds? And you got this border crisis going on in Texas, and Governor Abbott, who's raising heck with the Biden administration, right? Didn't they have like that power outage too? So we're going to see a lot of stuff with Texas. And look at Joe Biden and the Rangers. 37, 44. So some interesting numerical patterns to say the least in this story, you know, Trying to get people to wear a mask and vaccinate. And obviously, well, not obviously. Well, in my opinion, also 132 is 33 times 4. In my opinion, this did this vaccination even happen? It was on live television. You know? Because he's saying, I got the shot. Look at me. I got the shot. If I don't trust the shot, then who who can you trust? I trust it. Yeah, but did you get the shot? Did any of these people get the shot? Mike Pence, any of these high-profile people? Questionable. Saw it on TV. Yeah. Just like Oswald was killed on TV. Lee Harvey Oswald, who supposedly shot the president. That was on TV, too. The moon landing was on TV. Hey, lights, camera, action. But anyway, this was a fun thing to do. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day or evening to watch this video. Um, and have a good one, everybody. Talk to you later.